Okay, hello everyone. This is the Alley Man. I'm showing you how to make a basic tire in Z Modeler 2. In the last video, I showed you how to make one with the spline. On uh, this one right here, I'm just going to show you how it's easy, how it's real easy to just to texture this tire. So I'm going to do the uh, last one I left off. I had this the center portion moved out, so I'm just going to undo that and set it back in, like so. I'm going to deselect it. Select Quadra, hold Control button, right click and drag, and it deselects that portion of it. I want to get rid of this back in right now so I'm going to select that. So I think it's selected. Selected mode is on so I can just hit the delete key. Okay, got rid of that. Like so. Go back up here to faces mode. Like I said, it's a lot better to use a spline because everything's already detached. All the polygons are detached. So you want to go to select, separated, and I want to do the uh, where the treads are going to go. So I'm going to select one polygon, right click, and it selects all of them. That's all it selects. Okay. I want to go to Materials Editor. One new material. Change this gray box to white. Click in the Texture Layers, the first box. I'm going to add a texture, so I need to add button. And I have one set already that I made in PaintShop Pro. It's a simple little texture, just for purposes of this tutorial. Left click on that, click it again, and hit OK. I've got it set up right here, you can see. I'm going to name this Texture 1. Texture 1, for right now, just while I'm making this tire. Now I'm, I'm going to hit Assign. Hit OK. And if you look in this perspective window, you can tell that it's on there. I just got to map the polygons to the correct uh, section of this texture that I made. You want to go to Vertex Mode. You can see all your vertices here. Go up to your front view window, right click, map, edit, edit mapping. And then you want to pick the select old mapping. Hit OK. Now we'll go back to your UV mapper window, hit materials, and here's texture 1. Click on that, and as you can tell right here, here's the whole portions of the polygons that pretty much make the tire. So I'm just going to move that over in the correct spot. And you want to go to object mode. I've still got it in X axis. So I can move it left and right. I got modify move. And see so you can move this around. Like so. I want to move it down some. Y axis. Like so. Okay. If you look at the perspective window. You can tell that it, the texture's on there like it's supposed to be, save for this, these two polygons right here, which we will fix that in just a little bit. I still want to adjust this texture over here where it encompasses this whole thing that I placed on here. So you can go to vertex mode, click in on the object in your, I mean not your object, but your polygons in the UV mapper. You can see all these vertices. Go to select quadra. You want to hold control, right click and drag. Deselect the ones on the left. And the ones on the right are still selected so I can move that out. Make sure you're in X axis because that's left and right. And then you'll see how it moves out. I want it about right there. Deselect those. I want to select the ones on the left just to bring those in a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to pick the ones on top only, and I'm going to bring those down some. Go to Y axis, Y axis is up and down. Zoom this in just a bit more, and just bring that down. Deselect those. Zoom out, zoom in on the bottom, select the bottom ones, and move those up, like so. Okay. 
zoom that out and if you look over here in the perspective window you can see the tire tread on there nice and neat of course you can make your own tire treads what have you it's just basic showing you how to make a tire and the way we had fix these two right here you want to go to object mode and then click your faces mode button before you click on your object in the front view window and you want to deselect all those hold control right click drag and hold and there you go you're deselected you want to go to selected mode and single go to your perspective window where you can see the ones that are not correct highlight one right click highlight the other right click you want to go to modify sub mesh and detach hit the little box right next to it uncheck to new object and enable drag make sure everything's unchecked go to your front view window and left click once now you want to go back to vertices mode as you can tell it's just those that are selected, nothing else. You want to go select, quadra, and then in your front view window, right click, mapping, edit, select old mapping, say OK. And if you go to your uh, UV mapper window, you'll see that's the only ones that are there. This is the line right here that goes all the way down. You want to set that in vertices mode, so you want to go to object first then hit vertices mode then highlight your uh, polygon in your UV mapper left click and you get your vertices I'm in quadra select quadra so I'm going to take uh, and deselect the ones up on top like that I'm still in the Y axis mode so I can move up and down and I'll move this up modify move move it up zoom in a bit so I can tell how close I need to be and if you look over here in your perspective window that's pretty close as to where it was like so so I'm going to leave it like that for now deselect those go to object mode faces mode click on your object in the front view window and then deselect hold control right uh, click hold drag it deselects. Okay, we got our tread textured on there. Now we're going to do the front end, but I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you very much, and good luck.